Hey everybody, this is Rafi from the Zurb Foundation team and I'm really excited to bring you another video on foundation. This one is about the progress bar. So if you want to make some nice progress elements in your web app or your website to kind of show off amounts or percentages, uh, then foundation has some styles to create these various types of progress bars. Now the markup is really simple. I'm gonna walk you through how to create this and, and some of the modifier classes that you can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this really simple example from the documentation. I'm gonna start from the very simplest one and work my way up. So we'll paste this in here and take a look at some of the markup. So we have a div with a class of progress. Now what that does is it creates this progress bar that you can see here on the screen. It's gray right now. And the role progress bar is an accessibility uh, attribute that tells the screen reader or the browser that this is a progress bar. So if somebody is visually impaired and they're using a screen reader, it knows what this component is. Uh, the ARIA value now is where you can actually set the current value of the progress meter and this is also used for accessibility so a screen reader will announce that. And then there's some other attributes you can set here so aria value min and aria value max so this is where you set the min and the max of this progress bar. And the progress meter class in here is actually where you're going to set up the width of the progress meter. So this is actually going to represent the percentage that the progress meter is at. So we could do this with an inline style here to show you. So I'm gonna set this to 50%, but I'm gonna actually set it to with 50%. There we go, with 50%. And now you're going to see that 50% of the bar is filled in. Now I could change that to anything I want. I can make it 70% or 25. And you're going to see that it adjusts accordingly. Now you want to make sure that the width that you're setting this progress meter to also matches the ARIA value now. That's really important. Uh, that way that somebody that can't see the bar, they're visually impaired or, or for some reason can't see it, that they'd be able to know what it is, especially if a screen reader was accessing it. It, it will say that it's at 25%. Now another helper uh, just for this specific use case um, when someone is visually impaired is the ARIA value text. And so we're gonna add that in too. ARIA value text also needs to match the current percentage of that bar. And it's going to read off 25% in this case because the bar is at 25%. So that's the basic setup of the progress bar. Now you can add a bunch of modifier classes to change the colors, just like you would with buttons or callouts and other things like that. We have Call out cl or color classes available to us. So we can attach the alert class to turn it red, the warning class to make it orange, the success class, make it green, and of course the secondary class. So we have all these coloring classes to just quickly theme these bars any way you want. You might even use these colors to theme the bars depending on a state. So if the uh, amount, if the value is less than 25%, you might want to add the alert class. And then if it reaches 50%, at that point you might want to use some jQuery, remove the alert class and add the warning class in instead. And so on and so on. If you maybe um, somewhere around 90%, I might want to have the success class. And so now you can use these color, um, these color states to represent the state of the progress bar. So and that's really the use case for these coloring classes anyways. And uh, one other thing that you can do really simply with this is to add some text in here too. So right now the bar is at 90%, so let's make sure that our other values are also 90%. So that's just a reminder there. 
So another thing you can do is put some text in here. So I'm gonna go inside of the progress meter and I'm going to add some progress meter text. So there's a class, progress meter text. Now in Sublime, if you type in a class like this and then hit tab, it'll actually build that markup out for you. So let's do that. Progress meter text. And let's set this up to be 90% because that's where we are. So then you can see that it automatically adds the progress meter text in there for you. And that text is centered uh, horizontally inside of the progress meter itself, not the entire progress bar, but the progress meter. So to demonstrate that, if I change this down to 40%, you can see that it's now horizontally centered inside of that 40% width bar. So this is the progress meter in Foundation. There's a ton of other components in Foundation. And if you wanna learn them all the fastest way, you should check out the Intro to Foundation class. I'll put the link below. I am one of the instructors, and thanks for watching.